Yamsha has definitely had a rough experience in the Dragon Ball franchise, especially since every other character seemed to grow stronger than him pretty quickly. But Yamsha does have his fair share of dedicated fans. Adding to this Yamsha appreciation is Twitter user at Dragongaro Lee who also happens to be an official animator of the franchise. The sketch shows a fully colored Yamsha, with his design seen in the Saiyan arc. Yamsha may not have survived very long in the Saiyan arc, but his status as the first ancillary casualty of the arc cemented the strength of the new villains Nappa and Vegeta. Yamsha's death served as a catalyst that quickly raised the stakes in the series far beyond anything that had been seen in the past. On the other hand, his death is so infamous that the new famous image of his body lying in the crater has become a huge online joke in the community. There is currently a new Dragon Ball film in the works for 2018. Not only does it aim to be the best film in the series, original creator Akira Toriyama will be contributing to the film's script and new character designs. There have also been details shared over its possible story. The film will focus on the Saiyans, the origins of Goku's power, and potentially the story of the very first Super Saiyan God. Dragon Ball Super airs on Crunchyroll Saturday evenings at 7.15 p.m. CST. Adult Swim airs the English dub during its Tunamai block Saturday evenings at 9.30 p.m., and is now available to stream on Funimation NOW and Amazon Video. If you want to catch up with the English dub, the first 39 episodes of Dragon Ball Super are now available to stream on Funimation NOW, Crunchyroll's VRV service, and available to purchase on Amazon Video. The 39 episodes span the full range of what has aired in the North America and covers the Battle of Gods arc, Revival of F arc, and the most recently ended Universe 6 arc. Funimation has previously announced the rest of the series will soon be available on the service as well. Releasing in 13 episode batches two weeks after the last episode airs on Cartoon Network, fans of Dragon Ball Super's English dub without a cable connection will soon have a way to experience the series.